Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mike here. This is going to be the Flash Trajectory episode breakdown. Um, I tried to film this beforehand, but no. Um, I will not tell you the story for that. But anyway, yeah, we just got back from a big trip. But anyway, this episode was really good. I really liked it. There was like nothing that I really did not like. It was a pretty standard episode for a return for The Flash. Tonight, Arrow is coming on. I'm really excited to see that as well. Cupid is returning for a third time. Um, I'm thinking they're really liking the Cupid character, and I do too, because it's kind of like Arrow's version of Harley Quinn. But we're going to talk about that later, we're going to talk about Arrow, or Flash now, and what happened with Trajectory in this episode. So basically, as we know, there has not been a female speedster. I thought for sure that it was going to be Jesse Quick that was going to be the first female speedster. And we I have we have a little tease a little bit of, uh, of that. But um, basically, and what is going to be happening with her, like, um, later on in the, in the series, in the season. But basically, this episode gave us, like, a lot of trajectory. So in the comics, there's this speedster named Eliza Harmon, who is trajectory, um, and then she's brought back, she's brought here on The Flash. And so what happens is, is that Caitlyn has been obviously experimenting with Velocity 9, a lot with, a little bit with E-Wells as well, or two wells. But it's mostly been Caitlyn who's been doing the Velocity 9. She needed help from Eliza Harmon, who worked at Mercury Labs, to help her with three ingredients, key ingredients, by the way, for Velocity 9. Eliza Harmon experiments with those ingredients. She wanted to know what they were. She's a scientist. That's natural for scientists, right? So she recreates Velocity 9 by her own version. Like, it's not as pure. It's kind of like this, like, unnatural drug uh, for Velocity 9. And so she keeps, like, she takes it, become, like has this like mental debate with like two versions of herself like it's like her but then she's fighting back and forth with the actual trajectory persona in her head and then she becomes trajectory she causes havoc and meanwhile back at the uh central city news of course we have we all know iris's boss is trying to make the flash look bad and of course everyone's saying oh my god the flash is rogue people you saw zoom at the first at the beginning of the season you saw zoom pull like you saw him with barry you saw Zoom, a speedster, bring Barry into the news, right? With And Iris was there, and like, what episode? Was it like episode 8 or maybe episode, I don't know. But you saw him, and then like, Barry was super bloody, and like, oh my gosh. And then like, took him away, and you saw, and he even went, he stopped multiple times. He was, at, he was at the police department, he was at the news, he was... So you think that just because this person has red lightning like Barry's, they're automatically Barry? I don't know, that seems a little weird to me. It's like, what?! You can't, like, you can't assume, like, there's metahumans, you don't know if it's just Barry, right? I mean, there's speedsters, maybe now, but, like, now that there's, like, now Zoom and Trajectory have both been two evil speedsters, maybe now people would, like, and the Reverse Flash, wasn't the Reverse Flash a public villain? I, I can't remember if it was or not, I don't think so. But, like, but still, there's, like, multiple speedsters, maybe now they'll understand when there's a new speedster causing terror in town, they'll know it's not really Barry, right? It's not the Flash. But anyway, we got a little bit of that, and then we also got a little bit of romantic things going on a little bit with um, Iris and her boss kind of debating back and forth whether or not the Flash is a good guy or not. But they were on this date, uh, as he thought, but then Iris was like, uh oh, I didn't know that. So now they're going to push that relationship. I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> it's just another relationship to get through. I really think right now Iris needs to be focusing on the, on the Wally West on the Joe West stuff, rather than what's going on with her love life, right? I mean, there's no room for that right now. We got, we got Jesse Quick, we got Wally West, actually, I think Jesse Quick's gonna be taking a break, but we got Wally West to develop, so take some of that Iris time with her relationship, cut it, and then put Wally West in there, right? Am I right, people? Because I want to see him develop a relationship between not only Barry, but The Flash. Um, I, thought that, I think that'd be really interesting to see. But anyway, huge Easter egg, by the way, for, um trajectory. If you guys didn't know, the suit that she is wearing in the episode, like the suit with the lightning all down, like the pants or whatever, and, the sh and like a little bit of the like rib cage, and you know, all the lightning running down, that's actually the same suit, almost the same, almost exactly the same, as Johnny Quick from Earth 3. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the Flash from Crime Syndicate in Earth 3. I am making a video about him, actually, um, for season 3 possible, uh, uh, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video. And um, that's basically his suit brought on Trajectory. But anyway, now let's talk about what happened with traje Trajectory for a moment. So as Cisco is vibing Zoom throughout the episode, it's kind of really cool to see him vibing Zoom with the blue lightning. Well, Trajectory has taken so much Velocity 9 that her lightning turns blue and she vi vibrates like so much. Kind of like what happened in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, if you've seen that storyline. I'm kind of reading through it right now, but I know what happens anyway. But if you see that, 
Barry runs so fast, it kind of like vibrates that he like dissipates and his like he just dies basically. Um, but although it leads into him becoming like the lightning bolt that struck him, blah blah blah, you guys know that. Well, anyway, what happens in the episode is that she just, just becomes pure speed force and just dies, right? She just dies. Her suit is left there and she just dies. But her lightning turned blue. So they find out at the end of the episode that Jay is Earth 3 Zuma. We'll talk about that in a second because here's my theory. Jesse Quick was struck and they had to take the drug from her blood out of her blood. But what if that leads into her getting speed force and turning her into Jesse Quick? And side note, they kept the trajectory suit. So is it possible that that suit will be Jesse Quick's actual suit when she becomes a speedster? I don't know, but it's possible. And the producers also teased that speed, or the Blossom 9 will be part of the reason why Jesse Quick receives speed force. Or maybe possibly down the line. So I'm just saying. Yeah, and at the end of the episode, we actually see her heading to Opal City, which is where Starman is from. And Opal City was also mentioned on Supergirl, too. Just a little multiverse stuff going on in there. Uh, throw that in there. But it was really cool to see that, um, you know, Opal City was mentioned and that she's heading there. Why there? I have no idea. Maybe they'll explain it in a future episode. But anyway, back to Zoom. So they find out that, er, or, uh, that uh, Jay is Zoom, but they don't know what we know. That there is three J's or is what that's what we see that's what it seems right all right so let me break this down for you so they were talking about how Jay could have made a speed mirage um to make it look like he was two separate people that Zoom and Jay were two separate people but here's the problem with that in that end credit scene where you see Zoom throw physically throw Jay's body on the ground you could not do that with a speed mirage it'd be impossible sure it could be like sure a speed mirage is very it's very um deceiving but a physical body and you just flop it on the ground and you actually see the physical body no that's not a speed force mirage and why would zoom still make the mirage when he's alone right that wouldn't make any sense like why would he still be doing that and why would he throw it on the ground no that, that's not a speed mirage obviously barry obviously the reason why they're doing this is that the writers want barry to feel betrayed that another mentor of his turned evil and I, that's kind of annoying to me but at the same time I'm like oh but they don't know what we know so it's gonna be cool to find out when they know what the audience knows that it's actually three J's because I do think that Metal Mask is another J. I think that he's the real Earth uh, one J and that Zoom has been posing as him the whole time. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Also, what do you guys think of the episode and trajectory? And what do you think about my theory with Jesse Quick and the trajectory suit? Um, other than that, like it for this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.